I've been told that Fox News is paying the police to keep the private uh, property. Would you guys mind doing it down there? It's, it's building up traffic. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. Can you please stop taping me, sir? I'd ask you to stop. See if they're going to give us a hard time, we can move. You know, if not... I really think that uh, we park on a side street. We make sure that the people don't have a problem with our uh, presence. Right. We could come back and not find the cars here either, though. That's yeah, right. a... You know I figure I mean? uh, that'd make an interesting uh, news thing. Uh, getting towed off the public street. Fox won't mm. cover it. <laughs> <laughs> this evening is the Fox News Forum, and the police in official gear having uh, already told me that Fox is paying them tonight, have refused to allow us onto the St. Anselm campus. There are uniformed police officers at every entrance. Again, I've been told by one of the officers that they're paid for today by Fox. Where's Ron Paul? Where's Ron Paul? It's a private event on private property. No problem with that, of course. Those who are friends of Fox are allowed in. Supporters of Ron Paul, well, they're turned away by your police, I'm told, in fancy hats and official uniforms. Where's Ron? Clearly, a few people have an issue with tonight's proceedings. Where's Ron Paul? All right, of course, now I have to ask why does the Kucinich bus? Whoops, they're bagging out. They've been turned away, too. Poor guy. <laughs> Once again, this is January 6th, evening of the Exclusionary Fox Forum. And according to the officers posted at every entrance to St. Anselm College, private property, uh, Fox is paying them under the uh, uniform of the local police to protect the campus from Ron Paul supporters. They're doing an excellent job too, I must say. Uh, decidedly unlibertarian bent who would uh, make your job as a peace officer difficult. Um, and, and I can certainly understand uh, uh, where officers um, need to approach every situation as if they're running, going to run into that type. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, there's times where you got to put your fist and put down a little bit more, but for the most part, people aren't too, too bad. More reinforcements. <laughs> Mr. Patriot, what's your take on what's going on this evening? Completely un-American. We're restricted here to the narrow plowed band that is the sidewalk since uh, St. Anselm's College owns the property uh, within eyesight, apparently on both sides of the street, and the other side does not have a sidewalk, and so the officers have been very diligent in ensuring that uh, we're in no danger whatsoever of being run over. I assured them that it is not our wish. In fact, I personally have a considerable aversion to being hit, but that isn't sufficient as the state must protect me from myself. Students only. And invited Fox guests. And his seizure asked him, she says, 
well, who's Ron Paul? And he says, he's running for president and he wants to banish the IRS. I was like, yes! Yeah! I said, right. I said, this is a little futile, but I like it. He says, they want to banish the IRS, and he wants to reduce your taxes, and he wants to end the war. My nine-year-old son. Yeah! yeah! Say, go! Oh, Fox News! Unfair and balanced! Unfair and balanced! Kangaroos! Unfair and balanced! They're Australian! Work with me! What? All right, okay. Unfair, unbalanced. What do you think about what's going on tonight? I think it's absolute tyranny. It's, it's just ridiculous, man. You know, they have Giuliani, who got only 4% in the debate, but they'll have, you know, uh, I'm sorry, they'll have Ron, uh, Giuliani, who only got 4%, Ron Paul got 10%. That is just so ridiculous, man. That's not un, that's not fair and balanced. That's corporatism. It's terrible. It's terrible. Fox, Fox News, we decide you accept. That's I right. You, a you just... What to that? We decide you comply. Everybody Fox News. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, mean... I don't know why ABC and Fox have different standards. I don't know what it could possibly be. No clue. Yeah. I couldn't be an agenda, could it? No. One of the. Our numbers continue to grow out here. The police officers appear to be less. Uh, concerned as we go on uh, about uh, anarchy breaking out. Still very concerned with our safety, though. As you may have just heard, there are many hawks going by in support of our little impromptu demonstration. More Ron Paul revolutionaries! Ron Paul. All right. We got the young ones. Let's all be safe now. I seem to have been ticketed, parked on a side street. It says for obstruction. Although there appear to be no no parking signs. And I believe we've parked on these side streets for debates in the past. One has to wonder if this is Fox is doing as well. Got her text and stuff. Amazing. Uh, you know what? It was the most amazing 24 hours. And today we've been, where were we earlier? We were at Ron Paul's speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Liberty Forum. At the Liberty Forum. That yeah, was awesome. Which was awesome. Yeah, it was. Headed back over to Manchester, hung out for a little while, met some other Ron Paul supporters, and now we're here! Yeah! Ron Paul! Revolution! Ron Paul! Revolution! Ron Paul! Revolution! Ron Paul! Revolution! Our numbers continue to grow, and yet our presence remains peaceful, despite all apparent law enforcement expectations. And friendly natives, as you can hear. Ron Paul Revolution! Ron Paul Revolution! Ron Paul. Yeah. God bless Ron Paul. Bring back our freedom. Free all Americans and free this world from tyranny. Yeah. Taxation. Yeah. Free this world from the lies of the politicians yeah. who are in power. Yeah. Give the power back to the people and back yes. to the states. Yes. 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 Give respect back to the American nation. Yes. And give us yes. back our respect in this world. Yes. All right. Ron Paul Revolution. for the world! Woo! Revolution! Yes! And as the sun slowly sets in the, well, Midwest somewhere, the Fox debates, or, or I'm sorry, forum, is wrapping up, and Ron Paul's alternative programming in Manchester should be doing the same. Hmm. Wonder which one is changing the most minds.